this third movie is to just show the simple steps of creating machine control files for the field. And first thing we want to do is just create a DXF file of this, um, preferably not in Civil 3D because no machine control works with Civil 3D AEC underscore entities. Uh, they do work with DXF or DWGs of just regular polylines, uh, 3D polylines, and things of that nature. So, first thing I'm going to do is go to File here, do Save As, and we'll just create a 2004 DXF. They can all pretty much handle that. And I'll just do Save, place it, sure. And there is the DXF file. Next step is to go to Surface and come down to Import, Export, and we have Export Trimble TTM. Underneath that is Export Topcon TN3, but we'll just pick that. And right now we want to export um, that file right there, Phase 1 and 2, and I'm just going to grab it, do Copy, and then do Open. Then it says Export Triangulation File. And I'm going to just do paste and type in TTM, which is the extension for this file. And I'll do save. And that saves that. And the last thing I want to do is export a coordinate file. If I go to coordinate file utilities, you can see if I do list points, do all, click OK. There are the control points in state plane. By GPS, and if I do point number report, you can see there's 15 points in the control file and exit. And the last thing I want to do is export text ASCII file. Pick OK, click OK, and that's the TXT file. And we've created the three files. And if I load up this and we just go to browse some projects and you can see that we created a txt file a ttm file and a dxl file and essentially after hours of preparing the surface models and merging them and checking for the accuracy and, and redrawing 3d polylines and and perimeters to get the uh, two merged surfaces to combine properly and recontour at two tenths of a contour, um, you are essentially, fit, uh, when you're done, only going to send them three files: the TXT files for control, for their alignment, and uh, for checking for stakeout purposes before they can stake things out. And the TTM file is the machine control file. And I go down here. This actually was the Carlson tin file, which we have machine control. And if you want to output to a Trimble, you can do that. And a TN3 file is a Top Gun machine control file. So those are the file formats that you use to do machine control. And the DXF file is the plan view, and I usually make a 2004 drawing um, so that, um, or DXF file, so that any uh, but he can bring it in, and there's no problems with AEC, uh, simple 3D entities, and things of that nature, so that they just get straight AutoCAD entities. And that pretty much ends this movie, except that I'll do one last foray into exporting the plan view into a Google Earth file just to, uh, okay, I don't have a zone, and this zone here was in PA South, 883. And it's Nate 83, not WG 84. Click OK. And now that I've set the zone, I'll go down to export and do Google Earth. And we're going to pick OK. And just call this middle underscore school. It says select objects. And we'll just grab this one right here. This brings up Google Earth.
And you can see these are, this is where the new school's going to go, right here. Here's the new car parking lot. And they've demoed this area here. And they're building this new road here. And, uh, I'll just zoom out a little bit. Here's the existing high school. Here's the middle school. And they're going to put a ball field and a little bus uh, and uh, drop-off zone right here. And that pretty much um, shows you the files that you create for the end product, which are quite straightforward. And we'll bring up uh, Windows Explorer again. And there's the KMZ file. And all you have to do is double-click on that, and it would load up if the uh, state plan zone is highlighted and specified correctly, it will bring it right up into Google Earth if you double pick on this command. So that ends this movie and presentation of the steps or the beginning and the end product. And I will finish by just showing that this was all created from a state plane AutoCAD design drawing um, that was presented in this case, an AutoCAD 2014 drawing and used to create surface models for machine control.